So this past week, we talked about how gamers were looking to possibly build a Switch rather than buy one, mostly because the pricing around these systems is getting out of control, right? We're talking $450 to $500, and if you happen to have that Animal Crossing Switch, it's like $700 to $800 right now, which, yes, is uh, quite high for the Switch. It's supposed to retail for $300, but of course, because of scarcity and people just overall demanding a Switch, it has gone up in price. That's just the way it is. So, looking towards building one for what was said to be $200 for the build, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to interest a lot of people. But, after a lot of viewers left in the comments that I should try to do that, build one and see how it works out, I started looking into it. And to be honest, I have enough spare parts myself here to build one, so like I could show, hey, here's all the parts, here's how they all go together, but the idea is to save money, and if you can't save money necessarily on it, then there's no point in doing it. So I wanted to take a look at the, the pricing that the person has here, and then see if we can match that on eBay. I mean, that's mostly where everyone is going to be going, right, is to eBay to buy parts because you can't really go out anywhere and there's not a lot of stores that sell switch parts anyway but things like trying to find a broken system on craigslist is off the table currently so let's i guess see how this matches up now if we take a look at the page here this was on uh imager where they went over 22 parts that they were they were uh getting together to then build now we can start right away with uh, the first one, that is the game cartridge slot, and that also has the headphone jack on it. Now, they have it listed for $15 as the pricing that they found it for. The best I can find it for here is from China, and with shipping, that's nearly $35. So immediately, that jumps us $20 over the listed price there that again, all came out to $200. Now, I don't doubt that this person was able to find some of these parts and build it at that pricing, but it's certainly not gonna be an easy thing for people to find with the current Switch shortage. I kind of feel like parts in general are starting to jump in price. So here is the replacement SD uh, game card slot. That's for the SD card. I'm sorry, at the bottom there, SD game card slot socket reader holder. That's what it says. Uh, but that the best I can find for that is $4.29 free shipping from China. It's probably going to take a little while, and it may, it, it may not be a genuine part. Uh, I did see a genuine part... Uh, on eBay for about 15 but if we're trying to go as cheap as possible, we, we do at least have an option there for $5, just about $4.29. That, that one at least is a little more accurate. They also list the game card cover for the Switch at a dollar. It is, uh, the best I can find for that is $4.48 up here. Also, someone was trying to charge $24.29 for one. I... I don't know. That's actually marked down. But the best I can find for that is $4.48. Again, putting us uh, about $3.50 over that budget. They do have the heatsink here listed at $7. That's actually about right. I, I found that for $7.99 on eBay, so that that's pretty good. Next, they have the speakers at $8, which I was able to find that for $8.95 here. But they do have the fan marked at $3, and to be honest, it's hard to find the fan for anything less than $10. I seem to see it right around, well, here's $15.99, $17.95, but then we can go to China, and that's $11.16. So here's a, one that's kind of out there. They have power and volume button control flex cable with the buttons and rubber conductor. That is not even close to how much they cost. So let's start with the power and volume button control flex cable for the switch. That's uh, at the top where you press the obviously your power button, volume control. Just that part is $5.24 just for that cable. Okay. But then you try to find the uh, the OEM Nintendo rocker just for that uh just for that plastic bit. That for some weird reason, is $16.19 by someone. I, I don't get it. It's so strange. But then here's another one here. This one's from China for two of them. That is $3.50 uh, with $2.50 shipping, and that still comes out to $6, uh, I guess $3 for one of them, but you have an extra one for some reason. And then you also need the other pieces, but here is 10 sets from China. And it's uh, it's thirty dollars and eighty cents, or we can get uh, everything here. It looks like this this appears to be the the volume rocker, the pieces inside that you screw in. No screws though, and that is four dollars and eighty four cents. But there's one problem: 
it's missing the power button, it appears. And in order to get the power button, the best pricing I could find for that was, and I'm not even kidding, like $15. I'm sorry, $16.19 with free shipping. That's marked down, by the way, from $17.99. There's just, there's like none of these on eBay to find, those, those little power buttons. You might be able to fabricate one out of something. I don't... I don't know, maybe you could put something there. I guess you could even use technically like a paper clip or something to just, just prod it. It is very strange to me that that piece is so expensive. Here's uh the, for the Switch Lite, it's $19.79. Like, I don't really understand why the buttons are so expensive other than the fact that there's just like, like there's one on eBay. They do have the battery listed here at 15. That's about right. I was I was even able to find that one for a little cheaper at $13, which is pretty good. They also have the LCD display screen replacement at $12. That is about $20 on eBay, uh, and then they have a few other things like the in the innards and the uh, and the frame around it. They're they're just about right. I mean, I could find the front housing and the back housing, and that I believe was like eight or nine dollars. That's not terrible. The shield plate on the inside is more than I thought it would be. They have it listed here for two dollars. That was like twelve dollars on eBay. So like everything's adding up right now, and we're well over a hundred dollars, a little over one hundred and fifty, I believe, at this point. But there's still a problem. We need the motherboard, and that is, when I looked on this list and I saw what they have listed for the motherboard after really going over it, it's it's not practical right now, like right this second. And even finding the full screw replacement set, you would have to be very, very lucky to find a logic board right now, the motherboard, for $95. That's not to say this person wasn't able to find it that. It's just maybe they pulled it out of a switch that was busted up real bad that they got it a really good deal. In fact, if you find a junked switch, I mean, one that's just beaten up real bad, right? Screen's cracked, doesn't turn on. You can still get a lot of this stuff, like the Wi-Fi antennas, the cooling fan, basically everything but the screen and the motherboard is worth more than probably what you'd buy that for if you got it for somewhere between $50 and $100. Uh, I mean, we just talked about the power button and the volume buttons being, you know, like like $25 combined, which is still super weird to me. But let's see if we can find a motherboard. So if you search up Nintendo Switch motherboard on eBay, you'll find people who are selling different things when it comes to fixing your motherboard, like the power IC, for example, different chips that tend to go bad. And I, I've done a full replacement here on the channel before, but if you want a 100% working OEM Nintendo Switch replacement logic board, the best one I could find on here is listed at $280 and there are 10 people watching it. Why? I don't know. Other than the fact that the Switch itself is brand new at almost $500, but then you still need to get everything around it, and it's it's weird for to me for, to see that price at $280, considering I've seen, like, even when the 3DS was in its heyday uh, and moving units pretty well, that never got above $100 from what I remember. That was always, like, a $70 or $80 board. Now, if you want, like, a new 3DS board, it's, like, $45 or something. So a $280 motherboard, keep in mind, the switch is generally $300 is like way over the top. And it gets even crazier. If you, yes, you have a switch right now that does not work, you might as well open it up and part it out immediately. Because on eBay, there, there are boards that do not work. They're as is, which means the buyer does not expect to be able to return it. And that's generally how the policy goes. No power as is, here, here's the board, $200 and there's six people watching it. What, like if you buy a board that is as is, no power, you are taking a massive gamble on that, but people are still doing it. So like to me, if I'm somebody who has a switch that just doesn't work, look up some videos, part it out, sell all the parts now, hold on to the money, and then when the Switches come back in stock in, like, end of May, somewhere in June, just, like, buy a brand new system. <laughs> so, as fun, I think, anyway, as it would be to build a Switch out of replacement parts from eBay, it is in no way a thing that people should do right now with, I think, the parts jumping in price alongside of the Switch currently, because if you can fix a current switch, you'll save yourself a ton of money. So parts vendors figure, well, we can probably get a little more money for our parts. So that's just 
seems to be the way it is. Unfortunately, it's not as viable as I was hoping, and I'm sure many of you were hoping, if we just bought the parts and put it together. It's certainly nowhere near what this list is claiming it to be. Keep in mind, you also have to build the thing as well. They thought that it would work out for $200 for their grand total for used parts build. We can't even find a working switch motherboard for that price. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. It's this this whole switch situation with stock and pricing is just it's getting out of it's getting out of hand. It's it's crazy right now. And uh, there's also a story about bots being used to pick up systems as they become available that we might cover in Newswave tomorrow. It is just it's a shame to see. But unfortunately, unless you can come across a switch super super cheap with an issue that's easy to fix like the the screen's broken that's something you can do or the front or i don't know it, it, it's it's not a great idea to buy parts and build a switch right now thanks guys for watching make sure you like the video on the way out if you enjoyed it dislike it if not and i'll see you next time